Hey, it was good genetics here. Back at it again. Now we're looking at the Groza. I am playing this weapon on um, no attachments. Just ranking it up a bit. Just leveling it up a bit. I mean, I bought XP boost if you want to count that as an attachment. Oh, I love I love rocket facility. You know, side note, for the ability to climb up those little, I've said this before, but those little climbing up those little brown uh, ledge things and outplaying people with movement on this map feels so good. Anyway, so the Groza, the stats, first of all, it does 30, 36, 45, uh, you know, legs, body, and head. The damage is extremely similar to the M41, which is 30, 34, 45. So it does two more damage to the body. Uh, the drop-off starts at 125, and it ends at 175, meaning it has extremely good long range. Comparing it to the M4 again, I think the M4 starts, the drop-off starts at like 75 or 90, or right? somewhere it, before 100. And then um, the real time 1.80, pretty standard. Fire rate 750, slightly slower than the 810 of the M4. Handling 87, mobility 92. Again, pretty similar to the M4. Uh, and the reason I'm comparing it to the M4 because the M4 is like the standard all around good AR, at least for me. So it feels like the Groza kind of fulfills the same role. The time to kill is slightly uh, slower than the M4. That, you know, and this is comparing no attachment, so maybe there's like an attachment setup that changes this. Uh, but the, yeah, so the time to kill is slightly slower, ever so slightly slower than the M4, but in exchange it is better at long range. So this sounds like a weapon that I will enjoy. Uh, feeling wise, it feels really good, at least to me. You know, I'm not very good at, uh, and I don't like aiming with iron sights. But these iron sights are not bad at all. And I, towards the end, before I bought the Kayadi slide, I was starting to get used to it. And the hipfire is no good though. The hipfire is pretty trash. Oh yeah, another side note right here. There's a nice little movement tech I hadn't done before. You can super jump over here onto that ledge. So I thought that was pretty cool. Not onto the ledge, but onto like the pipe thing. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, back to the game. Back to the girls though. So yeah, it feels like a very strong weapon that I will enjoy. The Rico feels nice. The hipfire doesn't feel very good, but that's with no attachments. It'll probably be better if I put one attachment for hipfire. And the other thing is, I haven't been playing any FPS games in like two months, so I'm kind of rusty with everything. But right now, I'm currently just leveling up the Groza, and once I get some... You know, some more attachments. I will try some different attachments. If you have good attachments, you can leave them in the comments. Um, I can, I might check them out. I'm looking forward to seeing what the the Groza feels like with a full setup. But yeah, it's it's already super powerful and super uh, easy to use, I guess, with no attachments. So I think it's a quite a powerful. But I don't know like how the community feels about it. You know, I've been gone for a while. Do people think it's strong? Do people feel like it's weak? I don't think so, but who knows? Or maybe people even feel that not only is it strong, but it's overpowered. I'd be curious to know what you think, you know? So that's another thing I'd like you guys to comment down below. How you feel about the Groza. As my trusty sidekick over here, I use once again the Glock. Something about the Glock feels really nice, and ever since the M the Mac-10 got nerfed way back, I don't know, two or three months ago, I've been using the Glock as a default sidearm. Alright, so now I, I'm trying the same, no attachments except for a sight, and then let's also put some skin. And nice Ultra Spec Pink, alright. This game was kind of weird though, because I joined the lobby and it was like a 4v4. Then everyone on my team left, so it was a 1v4, and then it ended up being a 1v2, so I just left because it was taking so long to get kills. But yeah, with the Kaede Sight, this weapon is even easier to use. It's quite nice. I think, yeah, you know, I ask you if you think it's strong, overpowered, or weak, or okay, or whatever. I think it might be slightly OP if it's this strong with no attachments. Anyway, there's a nice couple deagle kills to leave you off with. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.